What's up guys, this is Scott from Wax Museum and I am back with just a two package mail day here. Uh, I am recording this on a Monday and that's usually when all these things show up. So um, only two this week, which is probably a good thing. Probably means I'm, I'm not buying stuff that I shouldn't be. All right, and I did open this stuff ahead of time just so it would be easier to show on camera. Um, but the first card here, this is a, it's actually a Sport Kings, which is kind of like an unlicensed set. Think like Leaf. Um, it's a Sport Kings Relic Auto, on card auto, of Globetrotter legend Curly Neal. Um, and Curly was with the Globetrotters for over two decades. You saw my last video where I showed you value box stuff, uh, where I picked up a Marcus Haynes card. Marcus was the kind of the lead ball handler for a while, and then Curly took on that role after he joined. So um, I've done a lot of reading about the Globetrotters, so I have tried to pick up stuff when it's out there. They're not in a lot of, you know, obviously NBA sets because they're not NBA players, but uh, you do occasionally find them in different oddball sets. So um, this mentioned is from a uh, game-worn Curly Neal Harlem Globetrotter shorts. So it's from a pair of shorts. Not the greatest patch, but um, not a lot of stuff out there for him. There are some nice leaf patches, but they don't picture him on there. So I kind of like when the, the player's pictured and then the on-card auto uh, is a big bonus too. So happy to add that. Um, this next package here is from, and you'll see it here. It's actually a surprise. I didn't know this was coming. I think this is because I'm not going to the National where Jake um, has given me stuff in the past. So it's from 90s B-Ball Cards, Jake Roy. Um, I, I mentioned the value box video. I, I have to say, um, you know, in addition to just becoming a friend over the years, Jake Roy, watching his stuff has been um, a great learning experience for me because I don't know all the 90s stuff as well, but um, I feel like watching his content has really kind of prepped me for when I'm looking for 90s stuff. Uh, now, this top card here, not a 90s card, but that's okay because it's one that um, I need and it's one of my PC guys, so Jake knows me well. So let's take a look and see what all Jake gave me here. Packaged well. right? It's funny how your friends will package stuff better than the people that you're buying stuff from. right? Have you guys noticed that? Your good friends will, will take better care of you than the people that you're buying from, um, which I've done videos about that before. I'm not going to go on and on. But let's see what we got here. This is a 2009... Ron Artest Refractor. These were numbered to 500. Um, and Kobe, he's guarding Kobe there, which is pretty cool. You see that numbered 36 out of 500. It's very good. Oh, okay. So this is the uh, variation. What do you call this? The game night or game dated? This is where I would lean on Jake. He's the 90s guy. Um, this is the variation. Notice that the... I don't want to spoil the other cards here. But notice that the background is like a different kind of a, a different texture than the card itself and kind of has a different finish on it. I always, for years, I've always said, all right, do I, do I have one of these parallels or not? And it's kind of those, when you see it, you'll know. So thank you very much, Antonio Davis. A um, couple Miles Turner cards here. Very cool. That is a rookie relic auto. Thank you. Very cool, Jake. And then that was just part one. Here's part two here. We've got an Oladipo. Um, I think this is from, yeah, this is from Hoops Premium. So that's very cool. We've got the 99 Metal. I think they called this Emerald, um, which, you know, you would think would be numbered to five, right? A lot of the Emerald stuff, uh, or I guess in that era, maybe 10, right? But they're, they're not numbered, but they're still cool cards. So thank you. Um, we got the holographics Reggie Miller card here. Very nice. You know, the Reggie Miller player showcase. Ha, we got a 2009. These are both 2009 uh, Hansbro rookies. Psycho T. Right. You might have heard me talk about a Mel Simon tribute patch recently because I had a, I traded a Danny Granger Mel Simon tribute patch. You see it? There it is. That's actually a pretty good picture of it. All right. Well, uh, Jake, I can't thank you enough, and I hope to hopefully direct some people to your channel um, so that they can learn 
all about 90s cards and, and see some of the interviews that you've got on there. Um, so there you have it. That's some mail, Globetrotters mail, and some nice stuff from Jake. So thanks again. Uh, as always, there are new episodes of the podcast that come out every Thursday. And thanks for watching.